You are listening to 60 Second Civics from the Center for Civic Education. I'm Mark Gage. Reform of state voting laws to remove the requirement that voters own property was accomplished peacefully. An exception was Rhode Island, one of the last states to remove the property requirement. In fact, it was the only state after 1840 not to have universal enfranchisement of white men. The leader for franchise reform there, a lawyer named Thomas Wilson Dorr, convened an extra-legal People's Convention that drafted a new state constitution enfranchising all white men. This act of rebellion led to a brief, small-scale civil war. But the so-called Dorr Rebellion of 1841 to 1842 was quickly put down, and Dorr fled the state only to be arrested and imprisoned on his return. Rhode Island subsequently did adopt a new constitution that enfranchised both white and African-American men, but the state did not eliminate the property requirement until the 1880s. That's all for today's podcast, 60 Second Civics, where civic education only takes a minute.